Relentless Decay by Jay Berg or Jonathan Bergeron. We're gonna do map two on ultraviolence. Hundred and fifty six kills this time. Seven items, just one secret. So yeah, this uh, map set is two maps. It uses a bunch of non standard doom textures. Which uh, spices up the look perhaps a little bit. I observed in the first map that it seems to be in lieu of uh, mixing up the textures, we just use different ones. But you see how this is all this one texture. You know, at first glance it seems like, yeah, it's cool, because it's, it's novel, it's a different texture. But then you realize, oh yeah, it's entirely the same one. Now we do have some nice stained glass and lighting over here, so that's cool. failed at that. Alright, so I like this. I come out of the whatever temple area and I'm in the water and in the kind of cave area. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not a huge fan of using the same wall as the ceiling. I don't know, I, I understand the appeal of it, but it just makes things a little too homogenous. Sometimes, not all the time, but in this case with so much space covered in that. Now the first map was pretty easy, so we'll see if the difficulty ramps up. Alternate route. Oh, I see. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this map's more difficult. Um, you know that was a pretty standard trap, but I wasn't expecting it because of how easy the first map was. It's misaligned here. Um, yeah, so far the look of this map is, is pretty cool, um, it, it's almost too tidy, I guess, you know, this area is symmetric and it's kind of just, it looks nice, but it's not like outside the box at all, you understand what I'm saying? Alright, let's go find this, yeah, there we go. A little bit oddly cut off on the red skulls there. Hmm. Chain gunners? No? Oh. Yeah, again, a really wide open area that renders the combat within it pretty much ineffective, you know? Um, a couple of hit scanners, but we could use a few chain gunners and, and uh, shotgunners instead of just like four zombies. Because once I clear them, whoa, once I clear them out, there's just no threat in here at all. But I like this area visually, it's nice. Got some lighting darkness over here. We could maybe use a little bit more lighting variation with the torches. I guess you got a little bit going on. 
And again, this is nice looking, but it's very tidy, it, you know, almost too symmetric. I like the hint at a secret there. Yeah, that was a nice unexpected trap. Now that was a very weak encounter. Um, I open a door, there's barons in my face, and that's how far I can retreat. And if I wanted to, I could keep going back. You know, give me enough bullets and nothing but a pistol, and I can take care of that encounter absolutely no problem. Just because of the space. Once again, uh, nice looking areas, a little bit too tidy, I'll just keep saying it, I guess. Um, some different alignments going on here. Yeah, just a little bit too symmetric almost, huh? Here's a sudden transition. Might want to go with a floor height change there. Hard to retroact those, but hey. All right. Um, how many secrets? Oh, just the one. There's somebody over there? Yeah. Not bad here. Here again we've got the... Oh, here's a pretty rough transition. Give me a transition texture there of some sort. Uh, here we've got a, again, monotonous area. All the same brick, same thing. find a stim pack. Wasn't there another stim pack? I guess not. Thought that might have been a secret. Oh wait, what's going on? Oh, I see. There's an imp somewhere. Is there not? So it, oh, there it is. So kind of the same thing here, once again. A little too tidy. Perfect symmetry. 
even enemy wise you know you had the two chain gunners there you had the two chain gunners here um, and a little bit too much of the same textures you get away with it to some extent just because they're not standard doom textures but still give me a little bit more variety all right so now I can go back because I got Wait, which key did I just grab yellow More monsters. Ooh. Anybody else? No. Nope. Yeah, I'm probably not going back here, so I'll just grab the health. And we'll do the red door. Shells. Great. Alright, so yellow door. I'll go ahead and save it here, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was cool to have the imps come in like after I'm already engaged with the arch file. I'm not sure exactly when I triggered them, but it, that that worked out. That was pretty cool. Ended up getting hit. Otherwise, you can trivialize this arch file easily enough with this narrow hallway right here. And that's all you need. ourselves a blind drop. Misaligned. I, I, I like blind drops. I, I guess it's not totally blind, especially if you use free look. Um, but I like that. Where you, you can't retreat from the way you came. That's always good. Again, pretty nice looking area. A lot of the same textures. Alright, let's see what we got here. Never killed them. Too many chain gunners. Uh. I'm trying to do this without acting as if I know what's coming. Smart. So that was a pretty solid encounter. 
Um, some might call that a little bit unfair with damaging floor and chain gunners on both sides of you. Um, I think it, I think there's a way out though, because you can just keep running forward and you can make stuff happen with this little bit of real estate. You can also run back and teleport wherever that leads. Okay. So yeah, I think that was a pretty well done fight there, actually. But again, we're a little too symmetrical here. I mean, perfect symmetry almost everywhere in this map. Um, yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't think it's that big a deal. I just think uh, it's noticeable. All right, so we got a couple of switches. Let's lower that. Oh, I see. One for each. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now I got the last key. Yeah, I don't know where he was, but... Pretty good design. Went for something on this side. Oh, there's... Now I can go in the blue door. trap if I've ever seen one. Again, we've got a lot of the same texture and a perfectly, perfectly symmetrical room, except for where it's not. <laughs> what was that? Oh yeah, I already flipped that. Um, okay. Where am I at now? Oh, I'm almost done. Okay. Map 2 of Relentless Decay by Jay Berg. And that map was, uh, yeah, that was definitely better uh, than Map 1. It had much more dynamic fighting from time to time. Visually, it uh, it was tidy. It looked it looked nice. Um, but in many in many places, there was just not enough detailing. It was kind of one texture throughout, and and it. Uh, it kind of looks better than it is, just because they're not standard Doom textures. Um, but it's still perhaps a little bit boring, just because it's not very well detailed. Just kind of one texture throughout. Not to mention uh, a lot of symmetry, which which I don't normally mind too badly. Um, but there was also symmetry with enemy placement and things like that too, which made it even more striking. Um, but yeah, some nice traps here and there, some good encounters, some more trivial encounters. Uh, overall, this was this was not a waste of time. It's uh, had had its moments. Nice to look at, for the most part, even though it was, you know, fairly homogenous. Um, but yeah, that's about all I got to say about Relentless Decay. <laughs>